Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth and welcome back to the channel that puts a plastic bag over stupidity's head. I just can't escape the hate of the flurfs and the amount of stupid that comes along with it. But I love it and in fact I thrive on it and it gives me constant material for you guys. Lately the comments have moved away from just stupid to being really mean. Like they think I give a damn about the opinion of someone who needs to find a tree and apologise to it because that tree spends all day converting carbon dioxide into oxygen just for them to waste it spouting their crap. Today, I'm a weak-minded, ball-licking idiot retard. Let's find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Fly the fly the fly the Okay, first up is Mustard Tiger. You're a cook. So, honestly, flurfs and trolls kept calling me that, and I had no idea what it meant, so I did a bit of research. I mean, I know it's a scary word. Uh, I found out that it means this. I'm in no way dominated by my female partner. I've been married to my wife for 12 years, and she knows that I'm in charge. Please don't let my wife see this. Next is a response to my recent video featuring the Creaky Blinder, where he showed this image. We were making a joke. I guess it went over your head. Something about you and Gay Beaver that have to show half naked men on your channel. But then again, it looks like you're a John Travolta fan. It's funny how you can take a little joke and object so hard to anything you consider gay. Projecting much? Talking of the Creaky Blinder, during my last premiere of a video that he featured in, he sent this obvious joke super chat for £5, to which I responded with an obvious joke about internal comms. Later on, Creaky sent me this of a comment on his channel. Oh, and BTW, I was just in FTFE chat on his premiere, and I seen that you sent FTFE a £5 super chat, asking, how many subscribers can you buy for a fiver? Full, full stops, and then, then a space, then a comma, then another, another space. Then FTFE responded, and I quote, not in this chat, talk to me in internal comms. I have saved the screenshots, and we'll be making a video of this exposing you two guys. Buying subs and likes, whoa, just whoa. Tell you what, sneaky behind her. I can sell you a sheep for a fiver if you want. Have a real good time, you would. You know what I mean, Sonny Jim. Are you really this stupid? You have to get that we're joking, right? Did the whole Office of Strategic Influence gag not clue you in? No one is going to pay me or anyone to make videos mocking the flat earth and anyone that believes in it. And how many subs do you think you'd be able to buy for a fiver? Next up is Flat Earth Perf. Why do you feel the need to call a fellow human being a dumb fuck? Do you go onto Muslim channels and call them ignorant for stoning gay people to death? Have you ever analysed your own feelings and asked yourself why flat earth makes you so angry? Can you point me to one experiment you have done yourself that demonstrated curve? Well, apart from the fact that I've not done any test myself means nothing, I mean, that's not how science works. However, I do want to remind you guys that I'm going to be part of a crowdsourced science project called Project Aristophanes, where we're going to measure the angles of shadows from the sun from Montreal, New York City, California, and Lima. If you're in any of those locations and want to help with either the measurements or streaming to my channel from the locations, then please email me at fighttheflatearth at gmail.com with the header Project Aristophanes. Is that good enough, Flat Earth Perf? Could you please let us know your bottle size when fully stretched? I do part-time work sorting pineapples for Satan, and I'm OCD about oversizing my gifts. I am sure we will find a generous fit for you. The boys downstairs love your work. They look forward to meeting you in person. Thanks for your service. How very Christian of you. My response is that there is no God or Satan, so the question was redundant. He responded with this. That's the problem you show in saying there is no God, Satan, as we cannot prove a God, but also it would be ignorant to say there is no God, as how can you prove that either? Like proving a negative a hard ask, I think. So are you saying your belief in the globe model is just that a chosen belief, or to be honest did not rude an assumption, that you usually use science to back up along the way? How is this any different than any religion or man-made deity worship system? I don't want to debate about God, but this is just a small example of how you too are in a belief system, not a scientifically proven reality as you claim. Well here's the thing, I don't have a belief because science doesn't require faith. 
It has data that lead you to conclusions. If any data suggested the Earth was flat, then that's the conclusion we'd reach, but there isn't a single shred of data that suggests that. To quote Red's rhetoric, science doesn't give a shit about your feelings. Evidence is the only thing that matters. God is above the dome. You are an idiot. How about providing evidence of your God? We're living on a disc floating through space. Where the fuck did you get that from, you utter cockwomble? You will literally talk about anything other than what's relevant. Copy-paste Flurf 101. <sighs> Come on, do you think I take you guys serious? The whole point of that intro is to poke fun at the utter stupidity of even the suggestion that the Earth is anything other than an oblate spheroid with a circumference of approximately 25,000 miles. As for the rest of the drivel you vomited over your computer screen there, I see you've come from the score of Shed Rage High. All you don't have the IQ Jaronism have, the Earth is flat. Yeah, I sure hope I don't have the IQ Jaronism has. I can't imagine what it's like to live in a single digit IQ world. Jaronism is a fucking idiot. Fight the flat Earth, the idiot is you. Did you just ding me? I'm gonna have to have a word with Father Skeptic about that. We can't have Flurfs getting hold of that kind of power. It truly is amazing how weak-minded you gimps are. Weak-minded? You mean people that don't think everything is a lie and understand basic maths and physics are weak-minded? All right then, keep telling yourself that, bud. Earth is flat. Always was, always will. NASA won't produce real unedited image of globe Earth even after 200 years because it do not exist. It's wet dream of globe Earthers. You do know NASA haven't been around for 200 years, right? They were founded in 1958, that's 61 years ago. And as you can see from the easy to understand graphic, 61 is less than 200. And as for unedited images of Earth, we've had them since 1972. The only thing they did was to orientate the blue marble was to have North at the top, because when the picture was taken from the astronaut's point of view, the South Pole was at the top. Hey, D-Bag, isn't your ball Earth moving on three axis in space? How does a space shuttle land on the moon when we're thrusting through space at over 500,000 miles per hour? Not to mention circling around 66,000 miles per hour and, oh yeah, spinning at 1,000 miles an hour. Oh, come on, man. This nonsense. Conservation of angular momentum. And it wasn't a space shuttle that landed on the moon. It was a lunar landing module. And that had the momentum of the Earth-Moon system with it. For goodness, this sounds like a teacher's job. Off the remedial classroom for you. Okay, morons and idiots, shut up. Right, today... Yes, Bob, what is it? Yes, I'm aware that Professor Dave gave you 0% on your last test. No, I'm sorry, but telling on him is not going to do anything, because he's right, and you're an idiot. Today we're going to look at the conservation of angular momentum. First, you need to know that torque, or tau, is the rotational equivalent of linear force. The equation for net torque is tau equals L over T, where angular momentum is L and T is time. Say you spin a wheel or push a merry-go-round, you exert torque. If the torque you exert is greater than opposing torques, then the rotation accelerates and angular momentum increases. The greater the net torque, the more rapid the increase in L. Angular momentum is conserved when net external torque is zero, just as linear momentum is conserved when net external forces is zero. So, if there is nothing stopping the rotation, it will remain constant. Yes, Bob, what is it now? No, you can't have this lesson erased. What are you on about? Get out, you idiots. Please, just, just get out. I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. Your support allows me time to focus on my channel. And that's amazing, as my channel is just getting started. The support of Patreons helps me and my family, and I can never thank you enough. My Patreon is full of different tiers with different rewards, including having your name displayed here, access to monthly live streams, priority and after show streams, one-on-one -on -one time with me on Discord, money off of FTFE merch at my Teespring store, and for the $100 Patreons, the offer of a free piece of merch of your choice. An extra massive thanks to my $100 Patreons, Chris Kane and Jeffrey Sloan. To join and become part of the Fight the Flat Earth team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Mmm, so Tesla said that the moon emitted its own light. You can do this experiment in your own backyard. When the moon is full, stand in the shade of a tree and then stand in the moonlight. You can feel the temperature change. 
Right, just, just stop because we don't need to hear the rest of what was said. It's just Flurf Nonsense 101 with the assertion that you kick teen skeptics ass added on at the end. I'll be sure to let him know. And as for Tesla thinking the sun emitted its own light, I literally couldn't find a reference to that anywhere. Citation, please. It must be worrying for the Globe Earth community to know that their house of cards is tumbling before their eyes. They have now gone into a mass trolling situation where swarming thousands of them daily scour the various media to attempt to insult, denigrate, abuse and otherwise try to belittle those flat earth community that have realised that the schools, colleges and universities along with lamestream media and other spiteful guardians of lies have had it their own way for too long. Denigrate? What's that? No, Anthony. Nothing is tumbling before our eyes. Thanks to channels like Simon Dan, Conspiracy Cats, me, Team Skeptic, and documentaries like Behind the Curve and Logan Paul's To the Edge and Back, Flat Earth is being seen more and more like a joke. Globalist equals ball shape lover dot dot space. Well, I got two globes for all you ball lockers. Go ahead, give them a kiss. The gravity they dispense might be enough to keep them locked on your chin. Remember what I said about they just like to be mean because that's all they've got left? On that note, it's time to say goodbye. I'll be back later this week with the next episode of Flurfs Are Idiots and the next episode of Explaining Simple Stuff to Flurfs, as well as a live stream of some kind. If you've enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe if you're not already, and get the notification bell on so you never miss anything from FTFE. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flatter. Fight the flat. 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 Fight the fl